Hey everyone, it's Albert, back from my vacation. Hey, why is the house on fire? It's gone. Why, well, don't worry there, son. Everything will be alright. Really? Eh, yeah, probably not. The Seaweed City Community Center proudly presents the amazing Pat. Thank you, thank you for that amazing introduction. No, who wants to see me pull something out of my hat? What hat? Dang it, I forgot my hat. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, I'm never gonna get my money back for this magician's costume. Stupid audience and their amazing accuracy of throwing tomatoes. Ow! Huh? Hello? Uh. What are you doing in there? These two guys stole my money and threw me in here. Which way did they go? They went that way, but you can catch up to them if you take the roofs. Thanks! With Neptune's swiftness, away! Ha! <laughs> Things are looking good for us. Good eye, Terry. Yeah! Oh! Cool! There's ice cream in here, and it's covered in mustard. Bonus! Oh, look! A cool plastic fork! Get him, good eye, Terry! You got it, boss. Yeah, ah, my eyes, my perfectly 20 by 20 vision eyes. Who are you? Oh, I'm Patrick. Patrick, man? Oh, that sounds cool. Let's go with that. I've got to get out of here. <clears throat> Ow. Here you go. Thanks, but who are you? And where's the guy who went to get my money? Wait, with this disguise on, he doesn't know who I am. So, who are you? I'm Patrick Man. I'm almost done. Boo! Ah! Ha! We got squid to ink! You think that's funny? Laugh on this! Ah! <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Seaweed City Bank. Oh uh, yeah, I just need a hundred dollars. Oh, they don't let me touch the money. I only set up the checking accounts. I get a little crazy when I'm around money. Oh, come on, please. The parking meter only has a minute left on it. Well... Okay, here you go. Thanks. Uh, can you let go of the money? Money? Oh, ah. It's mine, it's mine, it's all mine! <laughs> we're sorry, Mr. Plankton. You were in an accident. We were able to get you through it. However, we had to change you a bit. And by a bit, I mean a whole lot. To be honest, you're basically a robot. What? It can't be. No. Sandy the Rodent Chinks. As punishment for crimes above the water, we hereby banish you below the water. Oh well, if I can't be evil up there, I'll be evil down here. <laughs> People around Seaweed City can't stop talking about the new hero in town that's calling himself Patrick Man. Yeah, he got my boy's money back, which is great. I actually gave my boy the money for his lunch, and my boy's always losing it. Between you and me, my boy's a real wimp. Dad! Who is this new superhero? More on this story later today! Huh. I wonder how I get inside. Oh. Huh? Hello there, I'm the Money Mangler, and that's the Rodent in Planktron. Huh, 
who gave you those names? Your mommy, Hoog. <laughs> so I assume you all got the invitation to come here as well. Yeah, but we don't know who it's from. The message you received was from me. Um, who are you? You may call me the Dreaded Patrick. I assume by now you have all heard about the new hero, Patrick Man. Yeah, what about him? I want to get rid of him, and I need your help. Wait, wait, wait. You expect us to follow you blindly? Besides, none of us have even ran into Patrick Man. Maybe not yet, but one day Patrick Man will throw you all in jail. I say we take him out before he becomes a threat. Come on, Patrick Man's just some starfish pretending to be a hero. I don't know about that. Patrick Man blinded one of my henchmen and gave the other one a concussion. Okay, how about I say this? If you help me and we succeed, I will give each of you two million dollars. Two million dollars? Now that's a lot of clams. Hmm, sure, why not? Besides, ink isn't very cheap nowadays. Wait a minute, you don't use your own ink? Um, no, why would I use my own ink? That's disgusting. Well, I just thought... No, 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 it, it's made artificially. Well, if they're in, I'm in. Me too. Well then, welcome to the Evil Villains Against Patrick Man, otherwise known as Evap. <laughs> <laughs> You're a what? A superhero! So, this isn't another one of your phases, is it? What phases? You know, like that time you wanted to be a skateboarder. Woohoo! Oh, Albert, call Dr. Marcus! Or that time you wanted to play the piano. Well, sir, that was amazing. What? Oh, I was just listening to this guy playing piano on my MP3 player. This is what I sound like. And we can't forget about the time you wanted to be a ninja. Hey Albert, check me out! Sir, I don't think you should have weapons in the house. Hiya! Whoops. Oh! Hey, you said you forgave me when I paid for your hand transplant. All that I'm saying is that you shouldn't get people's hopes up for a one-time thing. Actually, it's a permanent thing. What? Albert, listen. Ever since my dad died, I've had a trouble trying to find out what I want to do with my life. But now, I know what I want to do with my life. It's like what you always say, follow your dreams. Not once in my entire life have I ever said that. Hello? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, yes, good. It's your company, Star Industries. They need you for a meeting. Oh, but I hate my company. That's why I've been trying to get into the magic business. Also, I just got an alert that says that a robot and a beaver are attacking the city. Uh, I know I'm going to regret this later, but go off and fight them. I'll cover for the meeting. Really? Thanks, Albert. But don't you need to, I don't know, like clean the house? No, ever since you bought that cleaning robot, I've had a lot of free time. That's weird. I don't remember buying a robot. Oh well, bye Albert. Wait sir, I have something for you. Is it a puppy? Uh, no. Oh. Before your father passed away, the company was working on these super strength gloves. Whoever wears them will have the strength of ten men. And now, I want to pass them to you. Sir? Awesome! Oven mitts! They're so soft! Look out, crime! Boy, Albert was listening to what you said. Huh. So anyway, what about the company? Oh, well... Object located. Contacting the dreaded Patrick. Internal Affairs! 
Did you say internal affairs? Internal affairs? <coughs> we need to see Commissioner Jenkins right now. Uh, yeah, sure. Go on in. Do, 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 do. Commissioner Jenkins. Internal affairs. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? It's about this new hero, Patrick Man. You wouldn't happen to know who he was, would you? I don't have a clue. We're also here because we've been receiving anonymous tips that you've been acting suspicious. I haven't been acting suspicious. I've just been driving black vans and hanging out in alleys all day. Listen, Jenkins. If we find out you're hiding someplace, we'll replace you. Replace me? With who? <laughs> How about with your lieutenant? La 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 la. Ah! Um, Commissioner, we have a situation downtown. Over. Ah, Cappy. Now, if you excuse me, I have somewhere where I need to be. Rah! <laughs> you know, I don't really understand. What are we supposed to be doing? I don't know. The dreaded Patrick just told us to come down here and cause havoc. Well, you're not going to be causing havoc much longer. Patrick, man, how did you get up there? Oh, I just dropped down from my helicopter. But don't worry, I had a parachute. Wait, who was piloting the helicopter? Oh, I was! But if you jumped out of the helicopter, where's the helicopter now? Oh, well that hurt. And what happened to my voice? Who put you up to this? You could have just been doing this all for fun. I'll never talk. Now we could do this the easy way, or the hard way. Or the Chuck Norris way. It's your choice. Okay, okay. They call him the dreaded Patrick. Freeze! Oh no, it's the fuzz! <laughs> Should we go after him? No, he's not our problem. Now round up those criminals. Okay, okay. They call him the dreaded Patrick. Sir, what should we do now? Patrick Man knows you're after him. All Plinktron and the rodent needed to do was get Patrick Man out of his house. Now phase one of my plan is complete. Wait a minute, there are phases? Now I need you to complete my next phase. And what would that be? Getting rid of Commissioner Jenkins. Without him, the police won't be able to stop me. You got it, boss. Objective captured. Um, robot, I spilled some grape juice. Could you come clean it up? Coming. Oh, there you are. Can you clean this place up? Oh my gosh, bossing someone else around is so much fun. No wonder Patrick is always doing it. Um, what are you doing? Oh! Oh! Ah, did you come to congratulate me on my arrest? Well, this is an awkward way to say congratulations. Old man Jenkins, you're under arrest. On what charges? Selling seaweed. We caught you on camera an hour ago. Commissioner Jenkins! What's going on? Congrats, kid. You're the new commissioner. What? Squarepants, you need to prove me innocent. I'm innocent, I say. Innocent. But, but how do I do that? Why don't you ask Patrick Man for help? <laughs> That's a great idea. Wait, what? I'll ask Patrick Man for help. Now we need you to take Jenkins to Seaweed City Prison. You got that? Oh. I certainly do. <laughs> you know, this would be suspicious, but you're wearing a police uniform, so I know you're a good guy. Hey, Albert, I'm back. Oh, come on, Albert. There's a couch in the living room. Sleep there. Ugh. No, sir. The robot, it attacked me. Barnacles, I should have kept the receipt for it. Sir, I don't think you bought the robot. Then why was it here? It was here to steal those. Those gloves were dangerous, and now somebody has them. Who? The same person who wrote this note. The robot left it. 
It has an address on it. Oh no! What? It says that if I don't come to the address, Commissioner Jenkins will die. Hmm. Wait a minute. What's that? It's some kind of signal. No, it's a pet signal. Hello. Huh. Patrick Man. Who are you? I'm Lieutenant, I mean, Commissioner SpongeBob, and I need your help. Former Commissioner Jenkins has been framed. I, I just know it. Well, I have bad news as well. I think Jenkins has also been kidnapped. Could anything else go wrong? Well, actually... Nope, 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 nope. I, I, I don't want to hear it. What are we going to do? I hope I can trust you, Commissioner SpongeBob. I think I know where Jenkins is being held. Really? Great! I'm going to need your help. What can I do? And so I was like, ladies, ladies, there's not enough for me to go around. Ho <laughs> ho So, what'd you do after that? Oh, then I woke up. I, I mean... Um, hello? Patrick man? Well, what do you know? He showed up. I guess I owe you ten bucks. Go ahead. Go get him, Patrick man. Um, hello? Hello, Patrick. You mean Patrick Man? Don't play games with me. I know you're Patrick Star. The waffle cone doesn't hide your face very well. Oh, why did you go through all this trouble to get me here? I mean, you could have just texted me or something. Because we have a shared past, and the stuff to get you here was just a minor part of a much grander plan. Who are you? Well, being that I'm going to blow you up, identities don't really matter. <gasps> I have no idea who you are. Look into my eyes and think harder. Patrick, run! Listen to your dad, boy. You... you were there! I wasn't just there. I was the one who blew up the house. And your dad. Why? Your dad and I were close. He promised me the company, and he even named you after me. Wow, my dad named me after a criminal? Nice job, dad! But when I started working on these gloves, he turned me away. He thought they were too dangerous. Well, they do have the strength of ten men, so... The last straw came when he kicked me out of the company. I decided to confront him. Get out of my house, sir. At least take off your shoes. They're filthy. And my maid just cleaned the floors. I didn't want it to come to this. Put that away, Patrick. Dude? What's going on? Patrick, can you do a teeny tiny favor? Sure, Dad. Patrick, run! Listen to your dad, boy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How did you survive? I was wearing this armor under my suit. Now, I'm going to get rid of you the same way I got rid of your dad. Except for a much bigger bomb. <laughs> Why do you want me dead? I'm a nice guy. Just ask my anger management teacher. After I killed your father, I assumed your company would perish. For the last 20 years, I've been relaxing in the Bahamas. At least I was until a waiter there handed me this newspaper. That says that Star Industries is better than it's ever been. It also talks about Patrick Man. I wondered how an idiot like you could have done this. However, I found out that your butler's been handling all the company's work since your father's death. Yup. See, even if you do kill me, it won't matter. Albert will still keep my company running. Oh no, he won't. You're the heir to the stars. If you die, 
Albert won't be allowed to take your company. Your company will be in dismay. And once it is, I'll swoop in and take it. After all, I'm the co-founder. But everyone thinks you're dead. I'll just say I've had amnesia and couldn't remember all this until now. Man, you've thought of everything. But you're not getting away with this. At least, not if I have anything to say about it. Oh! So, uh, how's the daughter? Oh, uh, she's good. She's good. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Um, excuse me? I heard you guys were up to some crime stuff, and I want in. Don't worry, Commissioner Jenkins. We're gonna get you out of here. What? Hmm, sure. What can you do? Oh, well, I can do this. <laughs> well, I'm starting to hear action music, so that must mean that there's about to be a fight. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You'll never beat me, Patrick. I've been trained by the world's greatest fighters. Oh, yeah? Well, I've been watched Walker, Texas Ranger for two weeks straight, so I think this is a pretty even match. Well, I also have this armor. Not for long. Wait a minute, when did you... Oi! Oh, stupid cord. Why do we even have cords anymore? It's the 21st century. Everything should be wireless. Oh, oh my gosh. Can we take a... take a break? Oh. oh, okay. I respect how much energy is in your body. I have you now. Yeah. Whoops, my bad. Don't worry, I have him now. Uh. Hey, we won! Uh. You can cage the beast, but only the beast will set himself free. What? I, I don't... What? Did we win? Um. Uh, well, I surrender. Hooray! We won! Batmobile, you gotta help me. It's getting pretty bad in here. Ow. <laughs> Why? Well, that's our signal. Come on, we gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Your plan is still pretty vague to me. I'm not a regular villain. I don't just spell out my plans. Okay, but I'm not asking for you to spell it. I'm asking for you to say it. Shut up. When I'm done with you, I'll destroy the rest of this town. You may be stronger than your old man, but you're just as stupid. Am I? Yes, you are. Am I? Um, yeah. Okay, that may be true. But the real question is, am I? What are you doing? Oh, you know, stalling. What? Hiya! Oh. oh my gosh, I can't believe that actually worked. Bomb sensors detected. Countdown beginning. Uh oh, I better get out of here. <laughs> uh. So long, dreaded Patrick. No! Five, four, three, two, one. Hmm. Well, I guess that takes care of- It was exactly two hours ago when the fire department got a call about a building exploding. They say the source was an explosion of a BOMB. Also, as a bomb. So, Commissioner, what happened here? All I can say is that a horrible person was foiled by a hero. What hero? Oh, oh man, that took a while to climb out of. That hero, Patrick Man. Patrick, Patrick Man? Yeah, way to go, Patrick Man. That guy in a helmet is right. Let's hear it for Patrick Man. 
excuse me, excuse me, uh, uh, pardon me, excuse me. Sir! Albert? I can't believe you're alive. It's good to see you too, Albert. Um, why is that butler hugging Patrick, man? I don't know. So, sir, what do we do now? I don't know, but this is great! Oof. Huh, so apparently that bomb gave me superpowers. Isn't that cool, Albert? Totally, sir. Mr. Jenkins, we're sorry we accused you of selling seaweed. Yeah, the inker and the money mangler just confessed to the whole thing. So, is he the commissioner again? Nope, at least not here. We'll be transferring him to be the commissioner in Starfish City. Do I at least get a pay raise? Don't push your luck, Jenkins. Now, jetpack boots, activate! So, are we gonna talk about the whole you dressing up as a superhero thing, or...? No, no, we are never going to talk about that again. So, this is what we're going to be doing from now on? Yup. Well, look at that. That's my cue with Neptune Swiftness. Away! Oh! Don't worry, I'm okay. I landed on this wimpy kid. Ow! I think this would make a nice new Petmobile. Great! But be careful, the gas pedal is a little touchy. <laughs> Yeah, I think we'll just take the Porsche over there. And more stories come in about Patrick Man. Oh please, I could be a better hero than that barnacle head. Whatever you say, Starfish Man. <laughs> Sir, what is that? Oh, it's the dreaded Patrick's helmet. I found it in the rubble. Why do you need that? Well, I thought I could reverse engineer it and make it into my own super suit. So if I ever needed to beat someone with superpowers, I'd be prepared. Oh, please, sir. When is anything like that going to happen? Yeah, I guess you're right. Albert, where's my drinkable sausage? Oh, I think it's in the basement. We have a basement? Wow, this place is huge. Oh, there's the drinkable sausage. Hello, old friend. Ugh. I thought you were dead. Oh, yeah, I guess I was. Boss, did you really need to do that? I, I mean, he was already pretty weak. We probably could have just, you know, tossed him in the truck without knocking him out. And Okay, okay, I, I get it. 